It is time for story number nine. Los Angeles is one of the biggest and best real estate markets in the world, but only a select few get to sell the ultra luxury properties. This week, our Jamie Yuka sat down with Berkshire Hathaway agent Lauren Rabbits, who became a coffee drinker during her battle with breast cancer. Oh, it's so colorful. All right, what do you usually get? I normally get a vanilla latte. Lauren Ravitz meets me at The Hive in Marina Del Rey. Um, I like about The Hive the feeling of like community-based and happiness. Uh, and I like kind of their mantra of what things stand for about being yourself, you know, being real, being humble. Being in the moment. Exactly. After ordering lattes, vanilla for rabbits, lavender for me, we walk over to her latest luxury sale. We are in the silver strand of the marina. The home sold in less than 48 hours, so this is Rabbits' chance to show off the staging and her sales skills. There's four bedrooms, and it's, it's a really great house. Am it's... I going to make you take me up there, I think? That's tough and tough. <laughs> <laughs> I, know. I know you must get a lot of steps in. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great little office up here, too. Yeah, this was cute. They did a good job with this. The 5,000 square foot property comes complete with a rooftop. Cool view. So they're all really different, and some of them don't have them at all. Oh, yeah. So I didn't even want, notice that. Yeah. So This is a been, selling point for people. For sure. Over here. For sure. Oh, there's the ocean. And an elevator. Let's go. Let's go. It's really exciting stuff. Are you getting in? <laughs> yeah, we'll no, see bye. you. We'll see you. <laughs> we'll meet you downstairs. Exactly. Once back in the living right, room, we, made it down. We, made it. we finally sip on our lattes and get candid quickly. Hey, how is it? Um, mine's delicious. Mm. I mean, but I'm a new, newer coffee drinker. You are? Yes. We don't even own a coffee machine at home. When did you start drinking coffee? I started drinking coffee uh, weirdly. Um, in 2019 when I was going through radiation for breast cancer. And every day I would drop off my kids at school and head to my 8.30 treatment, and I always went and got coffee for the techs, just to be nice. And then one day I decided to get one for me. And that, and I will only drink a vanilla latte. <laughs> That's it. And I don't, and we don't drink coffee at home. My husband drink, doesn't drink it, so. You're That's kidding it. me. That's it. Ravitz's breast cancer was diagnosed after her first mammogram at age 40. With no family history and two kids, she didn't want anyone to know what she was going through. I chose to kind of go through it privately at the time. Um, I was nervous to tell my kids. I didn't want them to think like I was dying because it was a stage one tumor that was manageable. I just got ahead of it and I jammed right into radiation and the lumpectomy and I did everything that I needed to do. And it wasn't until kind of later that I that I processed more of what happens and that I had survived it. But I, I felt guilty saying I had survived it because so many other women have had breast cancer and a more difficult and challenging way and I felt lucky so I had a hard time kind of identifying with other people that had what I had and um, I think that's actually a void in in the community to be honest that I would love to figure out a way to fill it's that resilience and her ability to identify voids that she credits for her success what is it like being a real estate agent in Los Angeles <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a lot. <laughs> it's not just, you know, what you think it is. I mean, it's therapist, it's, it's mentor, it's handyman, it's housekeeper, it's lawyer, it's advisor. It's, it's a lot of hats you're wearing. And every deal is really different. Oh, it's a lot. And you do luxury real estate. Yes, I mean, I, I'm a luxury director with, with the company, with Berkshire Hathaway, but um, luxury is different to everyone, and luxury is different in every city. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm an escrow on something for 975 and something for 25 million. So I just service the, the clients that I like to work with that value what I do and are, are good people. So you're really about relationships? Could not, yes, absolutely. 
Yeah, that's the most important thing to me because re relationships build our business. Relationships make, make us happy. They make us better people. They connect us with others. And this is an extremely relationship-driven business. Not only just the relationship between us and the clients, but with us and the other agents in the community. And while she did make one appearance on Million Dollar Listing LA, she does not plan to create a TV empire. Unfortunately, it doesn't show the, the reality of what our business is really is, is all about. The relationship, the transactions, the hurdles, the problems, you know, the mold, you know, just whatever. There's just, uh, that, they don't show that. So, and that's, that's reality. <laughs> that's why you're the housekeeper, the handyman right. sometimes, as yeah. well as the real estate agent. Yeah, I mean, I had to make beds, you know, for showing someone forgot to make a bed, or dishes in the sink, whatever. And the list goes on and on. Gravit says her biggest piece of advice for someone looking to enter real estate, hire a career coach. Hers taught her boundaries. Yes, I needed those. I needed those. I didn't know what I didn't know. I didn't know what I needed to change. I was kind of just hanging on by a thread. And she really helped me prioritize the things that I needed to get in place to go to the next level. And she makes sure to take breaks, even if she has to carry on her laptop. I mean, I'm closing deals on the beach. Sometimes I have my laptop. Sometimes everyone will go out and do whatever they're due, but I'm going to stay back and take conference calls. That is the only way I can, I can do it. This is a 24 seven job. I can't go on vacation. That doesn't exist in real estate. You know, no one wants to wait for me to, you know, have a Mai Tai and get back to them on like a counter offer. That's just not happening. So, I mean, the most stressful part is being on a plane with no Wi-Fi. you know, <laughs> what am I going to do? Again, pivot. That's how she entered real estate in the first place. A college grad working in a talent agency mailroom, she started taking classes at night when she was first hired by Berkshire Hathaway, the place she also met her husband. Is there something that you learned along the way that you wish you had known? I think one of the lessons I've learned is just to trust your gut. Like, you know, you know what's right and you know what feels good and the decisions to make and always just trust that and don't really second guess yourself. And also when you have a good idea, like run with it, get excited about it, talk to people about it.